You're watching Jim and Esme, we're back into From the Depth. This time we, go we are going to talk about a little interesting topic. So you may have noticed that the APS shell or the APS guns do have different sounds dependent on the gauge or the size of the gun. So uh, I did some testing and I did some uh, research and I found out that there are actually in total of 21 different APS sounds which um, you can get if you set the gauge on your cannons correctly. So uh, the, the sound of the guns in APS like this one for example it's completely dependent on the gauge of the cannon so it doesn't matter if it's a rail gun it doesn't matter if it doesn't contain any gunpowder or if it's only gunpowder the only thing that matters is the gauge of the cannon yeah uh, the autoloader size doesn't matter. Uh, basically nothing matters but the gauge, the size of the shell. So like the gauge, not, not the length. Yeah, uh, the RPM also doesn't really matter. Uh, the sound is scaled up to different uh, like RPMs. So if we fire this thing, one shot sounds the same as two shots like that. And if we up this to something high, you can hear it's it's the same sound, and it's also the same sound for for the higher gauges. So, we will be going through all these different sounds. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through each and every APS sound that is available for you, so that you can select the right sound for your gun. Because the sounds of your big guns, I think, is very important. And you want to make sure you select a sound that fits with the craft you're building, if you care about that. Because uh, you can change the sound uh, afterwards. Uh, you need to select the gauge to get the nice sound. And if you really want to do that, like select a specific gauge just to get a specific sound. Uh, then you are in a club with good company, like me, and probably not many other people, because most people just think about performance. But I think that the sounds of the shells really adds to the experience of what type of gun it is and what type of ship it is. So, to begin with, 8mm to 39.99mm. Uh, and why is it 39.99? Well, Basically, it's just below 40. So in the future, I will not say 39.99. I will only say, uh, in this example, 39. But it actually means 39.99. So you can get the same performance of a gun with a shell that has a gauge of 39.99 uh, and another gun that is like 40. Um, but it will have different sounds. So you can actually kind of bleed over there and select a, a gun that sounds the same as a gun in a higher or class, but it's uh, basically the same gauge in practice. So 18 to 39. It sounds like this. It's kind of a light machine gun sound. So basically, just as I said, 18 is the minimum. And if we go up here, it will be the same sound until 39.99, so uh, 27. You can hear it's the exact same sound and it didn't really change. And if we go to, let's say we have 39.61. Yeah, it's, it's pretty like that. And if we go to 40, it's completely different. So that is really the limit. 39.99 uh, is the light machine gun sound and uh, from 40 up to 49.99 so just below 50 we'll have this world war ii uh, anti-air cannon i think it sounds like a world war ii anti-air cannon uh, basically or a sniper pretty cool from caliber or millimeter 50 millimeter to 75.99 we will have this sound 
and it's basically some kind of uh, auto cannon heavy machine gun. From 60, uh, from 76 millimeters up to 99. We have this gun, which is ba basically, it sounds like a heavy auto cannon to me. From 100 millimeters up to 106.9, we have this sound. which is kind of this big echo cannon. So you can hear it has a big echo suddenly. So it's a basically a cannon with a big echo. Sounds very meaty. From 127 all up to 154.9 or 154, we have this sound. And I call this sound a naval gun sharp. It's a sharp naval gun. It always, uh, it also have a big echo that you can hear. And it really sounds like a pretty strong naval gun. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels very naval to me. And that's 127 all the way up to 154. But from 155 all the way up to 174, we have a completely different sound. Suddenly, it's kind of this shallow, shallow cannon. I think it sounds like the barrel of this cannon should be really short. And that everything is built like a rattling machine gun type. So I'll just call it a shallow cannon. Uh, it sounds l much less meaty than the previous uh, naval sharp gun. But this, on the other hand, is a sound like this shallow cannon would sound very cool if we just up the RPM of this thing. We can just up it here. Yeah, and it's like an... Uh, the shallow cannon is a amazing big gauge machine gun. From 175 all the way up to 199, we have something I call the low cannon. So it has a big low rumbling echo, the sound of the gun is really low, um, it's not sharp at all, it's a really soft low uh, dark cannon type. Adds a cool background vibe with all that echo. Alright, so from 200, exactly 200, <laughs> up to 124 we have another special little gun that to me sounds like a tank gun this is like the tank gun sound i think it sounds really just like a tank gun and it's pretty cool um this would be perfect on tanks uh, of course, because it sounds like a tank gun, and yeah. And if you're wondering, where does the sound come from? Well, it comes from the firing piece. It doesn't come from the end of the barrel. It is this, the firing piece itself, which emits the sound, why we are pretty close to it. So, we need to go here and change uh, again, because from 100, 225 all the way up to 249, we have a sound that I call the bullwhip. The gong, the gong, you can hear that? It sounds like a really big whip. And it sounds terrible as a machine gun. This is like, ba -da, ba -da. It al it's almost musical. I think the bullwhip cannon is a uh, 
the music, the most musical canon <laughs> that's offered. Uh, right, so from 250 all the way up to 278, we have the Thunder Gun. And that makes the low rumbling cannon uh, completely go away in terms of low rumble, because this is like a, a distant thunder blast. Sounds very intimidating for sure. Yeah, this thunder cannon just sounds a lot like thunder. Really give you that low vibrating um, thunderstorm feeling. Anyways, for the next gun, it uh, begins on the weird number of 279 for some reason and goes up to uh, exactly 304.99 of course. Here we have the naval uh, hard naval gun slash drum. It sounds a little bit like a drum. It's kind of the hard naval cannon. Uh, it really adds to this nice little, um, I don't know, naval battle drumming kind of thing. So that's that's like one of the really weird um, spans, like up to 304. What number is that? Well, it's kind of weird. But it's a pretty cool cannon. We're gonna move up to the next one, which begins at 305. Uh, and this, I don't know, I, this is kind of weird. I think it sounds a little bit like some kind of space gun. And it goes up to 329. It's like, boom, boom, boom. It, I don't know. This is like obviously a super high velocity, like supersonic shell almost. Or not supersonic, but... This is kind of how I would imagine a railgun cannon would sound. So if you want to have a, a railgun, maybe consider 305 to 329. And you get this really cool space gun sound. Right, so the next one... It sounds like a big autocannon, and it begins uh, from 330 millimeters and goes up to 355. So we kind of have this kind of low, low sound, and it works very well in succession. Yeah, so big autocannon echo. <laughs> It has an echo too, so yeah, it's a big autocannon with an echo. Right, and to the next one, we have something that I would say is not a big autocannon, but a big naval gun with an echo. Uh, and that begins at the strange number of 356 and goes up to 379. Works better in single shot, I think. Sounds very powerful, very strong. Very cool. Uh, the big naval gun with an echo uh, is of course very nice uh, span to go with naval uh, ship guns. And that's uh, 356 to 379. And it's the same sound within this span. There is no modulation or stuff like that. The next one begins at 380, 380, up to 405. And that is a big, sharp gun with a humming echo. You can see, like, the echo is like several seconds after we dispatch the shot. 
just continues for a long while. Yeah, and now we've gone through 16 of the different sounds and we're getting up in the gauge here. So the next one begins at the nice <laughs> of 406. Yeah, so 406 we have this sound, which is, uh, you know the Warhammer 40k bolters? This sounds like some kind of big bolter. This is one of the sounds I just, I just absolutely love this. So 406 to 429. And there is a nice low bass echo beneath it, but other than that, it's just a big bolter. Would be nice to make a big auto cannon uh, with this gauge, like a mega machine gun of some kind. Would be pretty cool. So uh, the next one begins at 330 and continues up to 455. And this is the soft bass cannon. And the first shot never uh, gives you a sound, who knows? I think you... I mean, it's a soft bass cannon. Imagine this has a higher gauge than the gun before. It almost sounds nice, it doesn't sound dangerous, like what is this? But it works pretty, it, it sounds pretty cool as a kind of auto cannon to give you get a background rumble. But having an auto cannon that shoots at those speeds, uh, it's gonna be expensive, man. It's gonna be a big one. Uh, but that's, that's that. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, sound. And that begins at 456 and continues all the way up to 479 millimeters. And this is a cannon I call the plastic space cannon. Listen to this. Okay, this. Like, what the hell? What is that sound? It sounds like a plastic space cannon. I don't know. It sounds like the, the firing tube is not out of metal, but some kind of space alloy or like glass fiber. But it sounds really funny when you shoot them in succession because it's always it all it's almost like a little musical. So if you want to have a plastic space cannon or some kind of big gauge railgun, I guess 456 to 479 is uh, the sweet spot for you. It's really musical too, like the modulation on this little end sound, pium 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 pium. Is a really funny one. Uh, now we're getting close to showcasing all of them. Uh, so the next one, it begins at 480 millimeters and it continues all the way up to 499. So just below the 500 millimeter. And I call this the dual blast huge auto cannon. So it almost, it, it almost sounds like there are two ignitions, but I guess it's the ignition in the firing piece and the sound coming out of the barrel uh, front. That gives us this da -dum, da -dum. And uh, as said, dual blast huge auto cannon is because this cannon, ironically, sounds a little bit weird when we fire a single shot, but works much better when we spam them, fire them in succession, then we really get a kind of cool auto cannon blast. And you can hear that it's like, if we just go down one millimeter, they have their similarities, but they're completely different. I mean, this one sounds much better but it's a little bit weird in single shot for sure. And the last one, of course, is a sound that should be very familiar to most people, the regular good old 500 millimeter. Okay. There we have it. And you can clearly hear that the 500 millimeter gun is not the coolest sound. 
Um, I think. This is like the classic battleship gun. And this cannon is a little bit weird when we fire them in succession. Uh, so 500 millimeter works really well for like diff guns. And it's really a classic battleship gun. And that's all the sounds. I have marked uh, this entire video with timestamps, so you should be able to find your favorite sounds in here. Uh, and if you do, well, please uh, remember it and use it in your future builds. And I hope that this little video has helped you to find some new favorite APS sounds. And I don't know which, which is my new favorite, which I found from this. Uh, but please tell me in the comments uh, what is your new favorite APS gun sound. Uh, select a timestamp or, or select a millimeter ratio. For me, I think it's actually the 406 millimeter big bolter because I will make a like big machine gun, big bolter cannon with some 40k inspiration that sounds like this. I think that's pretty cool. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. This has been your host, Jim Odessum, and uh, I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.